Steppin is the hottest new move to earn crypto app where you can basically get paid just for walking or for running or doing any sort of daily exercise. And it's caught a lot of attention for good reason. But is this a good sustainable thing that you can actually make money on? And I'm sure that's the question that you want to know. And I'm going to answer it in this video. And it might be a little bit contrary to what you see most people on YouTube talking about this because there are some real concerns here with Steppin. Now, in this video, I'm actually actually going to be talking to you about what is it, how does it work, how do you set it up, what are the different tokens that are involved in this, uh, what are the different sneakers, and how does that all work, as well as offer you some words of warning regarding this. As exciting as it is, you should exercise caution with Steppin, and for uh, a couple reasons, which I'll address later on in the video. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and talk about it. So Steppin is a new move to earn cryptocurrency app that has uh, gained quite a bit of traction and for good reason in all reality as you can see they're backed by some of the largest uh, venture capital firms in the crypto world sequoia folius uh, binance solana ventures alameda research they are really heavily backed and essentially what uh, Steppin is, is it is an app that you carry around in your pocket. You buy these shoe NFTs and then based on how many steps you take in a day or for how long you're exercising, you earn in what's their native GST token, what we're going to be talking about. So how do you actually earn in this step in cryptocurrency app, uh, you basically earn by one purchasing their uh, sneaker, which um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the different types of sneakers that you can purchase. And then by exercising daily, you can generate this token called GST. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that in just a second. Uh, you can also make money by breeding and selling shoes in their NFT marketplace. And you can also stake their token called GMT. So before we get any further into this, uh, let's take a look at the two here for just a second. So there's two coins that we need to talk about. One is GST and one is GMT. Okay, so GST or Green Satoshi token is their in-game cryptocurrency. Okay, it's their in-game uh, currency that you'll actually be earning in. So this is what you earn when you're walking around or running around in your NFT sneakers. Okay, and it looks all good and stuff. But the problem with this is that it has a, um, it basically has an unlimited supply. So this could really lead to some pretty insane inflation down the road. We'll talk about that later. Uh, GMT is their, uh, so this is like their utility token. This is like their governance token. Uh, so this is kind of like a way that you'd bet on uh, new users as well as um, you can also stake this GMT token to earn a percentage of in-game uh, transactions that happen. Now, most of you guys are probably familiar with Axie Infinity. And the way that I like to think about this is AXS is basically equivalent to GMT, okay? And SLP or Smooth Love Potion is kind of equivalent to GST. These are the in-game cryptos, right? Axie Infinity, if you're not familiar, it was like the largest play to earn. Uh, it kind of kicked off the whole play to earn uh, sort of uh, world. And this is the way that these tokens are set up. And we'll talk more about these tokenomics in, in just a second. But in order to get started, basically how you need to do it is you need to go to your app store and download the Steppin app, okay? It looks something like this. You'll basically just put in your email and then you need to get an activation code. And again, this is challenging, um, but basically you need to join their Telegram or their Discord channel. And I think like every 12 minutes or so, they offer a new activation code or you can get it from somebody that's already in the system and already using uh, step in you can also get an activation code from them yeah you're gonna need to basically wait around in their discord and telegram uh, to get access to that okay and then after you've actually opened the step in application on your phone you'll basically create your Solana wallet which is really simple to do make sure that you don't give your uh, seed phrase to anybody even if they're trying to help you out please do not give that to anywhere or else they will steal all of your money <laughs> more likely than not uh, then you need to buy some solana so you can do that on binance or you could do that on kucoin just buy it on your native uh, broker and you need to withdraw that solana basically to your new uh, solana wallet address that you've made inside of the step in app okay and then you can basically go out and you can buy your first step in sneaker, which we'll talk about right now. 
So when you're buying your sneaker, there's a few things that you need to understand, okay? There's four different types of sneakers. There's a walker, a jogger, a runner, and a trainer. And basically, these all have different characteristics and different attributes, right? Each one of these sneakers is an NFT, which, uh, you know, is a non-fungible token, right? They're all individual. They're all unique. They all have different characteristics. And based on these characteristics will determine how much you're actually going to be able to earn. So it also makes sense to think about your exercising habits. If you're not a runner, then you should not buy a runner because you have to be exercising between 8 to 20 kilometers per hour. That's how fast you actually have to be moving with the phone in your pocket in order to actually earn. If you're not in this zone, then you're not going to be earning. Okay. If you're just a walker, then you probably want to just get a walker where you have to be moving between one and six kilometers per hour. If you're a jogger, you know, you're running slowly then four to 10 and a trainer, you can go anywhere from one to 20 kilometers per hour. This is definitely the most versatile sneaker that you can buy. And this is also going to be the most expensive sneaker that you can buy more often than not. Now, each one of these sneakers actually has are four different attributes, kind of like if you're playing, you know, a video game back as a kid, you have all these different attributes you can use to level up your character. The same thing happening here with step in. So the first one is your efficiency rating, and this is basically going to determine how much GST you can earn based on the movement that you're actually making per day. The second thing is uh, luck. So basically you can get uh, mystery drop boxes and there'll be different prizes and different rewards in these different drop boxes. The next thing is your comfort level, okay? And this is basically going to allow you to enhance your GMT earning at level 30. So. Uh, to give you an idea of how this works, every sneaker is going to start at level one and you can earn and you can continue to advance all the way up to level 30. Once you get to level 30, only at that point will you actually be able to earn GMT instead of just earning in GST, which is the inflationary token similar to Small Love Potion if you're familiar with Axie Infinity. And I would say that GMT is definitely the more desirable token to earn, but you can't earn that until level 30. And then the last attribute is the resilience. So basically, when you're exercising with these sneakers, as you use your sneaker more and more and more, they'll actually need to be repaired. So they'll start to wear down and you'll actually have to pay some GST in order to repair your shoe. So the higher the resilience it is, then the longer the shoe will stay in good standing and the less money you'll have to spend on repairing your shoe. Now, they also have this energy system, which basically means that each energy unit is basically five minutes of exercise, okay? So if you just have one sneaker, then you have two energy units. So that's five minutes plus five minutes or 10 minutes total of earning time. So that means each day you can only exercise for 10 minutes and actually earn money. Now, if you have three sneakers, you can see that you now have four energy units, which is basically four energy units, which is five minutes each, meaning that you have 20 minutes of total time that you can actually be earning money in. Okay, now with all of that being said, you understand how to download the app, how to create your account, you understand the four different types of sneakers, you understand the four different types of attributes. Now the question is, is, is this actually worth doing? Because the sneakers are not cheap. Uh, basically, the floor price has been between like 10 to 16 sole, which is around $100. So it's like $1,000 to $1,500 is the very cheapest sneakers that you can buy. So it's a pretty sizable investment for most people considering most running shoes are what, 50 to $100 is like 10 times the price. So it doesn't actually make sense from a financial or mathematical standpoint. And how much can you actually earn? So based on my readings and based on my research, basically if you have a level zero or beginner sneaker, you can basically earn like five GST per day. So at the current rate right now, say it's $6, that means that on the low end you'd earn like $30 per day. Okay, and if the sneaker costs you $1,200, then obviously it's gonna take you like 40 days to break even on this investment. Now, when you do level up all the way to level 30, you can earn up to like 300 GST per day. So 300 GST per day times say $6. Now at that level, you can earn like $1,800 per day, which is kind of interesting. 
And if you want to get a better idea of how much a certain sneaker would actually earn, then you can come to stepin.guide and they have like a little calculator right here. So you can see, let's see if I had a jogger and I basically had an efficiency rating of five, a luck rating of 3.6. I had a 9.7 comfort and I had a 5.9 resilience. You could see that on average, I would earn like 6.54 GST per day. So if you do the math on that, you'd earn about $44 per day, which is not too bad. Now just go back here and when you're going to buy your sneaker, you can just go ahead and you can put in this uh, information here and you can see roughly how much you'll earn. Now for good reason, this project has absolutely exploded. They've had like more than like 2 million app downloads at this point. They have like 500,000 people in their Discord community. It's interesting, right? It's it's engaging. It connects you to the real world. Uh, it's a way to earn money. It's, it's really quite interesting. It's backed by some of the largest VCs in all of crypto. Um, but a word of warning is that because the GST token is so inflationary, there's an unlimited amount of supply. I don't expect this GST token to go up forever. And just because there's a lot of hype around it, it's kind of similar to like small love potion, which we saw with Axie Infinity. And again, this is the in-game currency that you earn in in the Axie Infinity world. And you can see it did have some extreme hype, but because there's so much inflationary pressure, meaning that there's new coins being minted and thrown onto the market, it puts this downward pressure on price. And you can see what's happened with it. I mean, it's pretty much just fallen off of a cliff. And I don't know if the same thing is going to happen with GST. I'm not sure, but like in my just, you know, initial look at it, I would think that this is not going to continue to go up forever. And I think that there is going to be a downward pressure because it is a very inflationary token as more and more people mint NFT sneakers and more and more people start using the step in app. That means that there's going to be more and more GST emissions coming onto the market. And so I could see this having a downward effect on price. With that being said, you probably still could make some money on it right now, but I don't know that it's really going to make that much sense moving forward, especially because you do have to pay the GST token to repair your sneakers. So if the amount that you're earning is actually less than the amount that it costs you to repair your sneaker, at this point, it's not going to make sense. And this thing really could fall off a cliff. We saw this similar type of action uh, happening with a lot of the note as a service and a lot of the play to earn uh, cryptocurrencies that are on the market. So just something to be aware of. I think it is really cool. I think it is uh, an interesting project to say the least, but I would just exercise some uh, word of warning uh, just uh, to be cautious about this and understand how these tokenomics can affect your investment into this NFT. But it is something that's groundbreaking. It's very exciting. And for those reasons, I do think that this project can continue to do well for a while. And by the way, if you thought that this video was helpful, then consider becoming a member here at blueedgefinancial.com slash crypto. You'll get our crypto academy, our portfolio, our algorithm, all of our DeFi plays, our, our in-depth market analysis, and our hype coins indicator. All of this coming over to blueedgefinancial.com slash crypto to check this out. And feel free to look at some of the other videos on our channel that'll help make your crypto investing experience easy, lucrative, and fun.